see. Eighteen thousand years ago, this part of the sea was in fact dry land. Shuadao Island wasn't an island then. Back then, it was a mountain. The time changes everything. For their land-loving relatives, these treacherous reefs would offer nothing but danger. But these clever creatures, known locally as Sea Island Macaques, have discovered that for the intrepid, there's a buffet of tasty treats to be found on the wave-buffeted rocks. For them, the key to survival is not being too fussy about what they eat. Besides seafood, they also forage for food in the woods. Sea island macaques live in matriarchal groups. The largest troop on the island has over 200 members. It's July. The baby monkeys, born a week earlier, are having fun. Little do they know, they've been born into a world full of danger. What's more, danger lurks in surprising quarters. They and their mothers have to be especially on their guard against the adolescent female macaques. ready to fly the nest. Its parents still send it food every day. Eating up a whole fish won't take very long. What a paradise for this little eagle. to fly away by the end of the season. Right now, there's not much wind, so it's a good time for flying lessons. Encoded in their DNA, flying comes naturally to white-bellied sea eagles. The young eagle comes to the edge of the nest to make a courageous attempt.
is a message from National Treasures. Please check it. The mountains were not always high. The deserts not always dry. For beneath the sands of time, another country lies. The northern meltwaters from the Kunlun Mountains flow towards the searing Taklamakan Desert in the heart of Xinjiang. They supply the oasis that once made the stopping points on the southern Silk Road. In 1995, a team of archaeologists exploring the lost city of Kadota stumbled across a remarkable find. The site known today as the Niya Ruins yielded the coffin of a wealthy couple from the Han Dynasty. The man was found to be wearing an elaborate guard on his right arm, which was in near perfect condition. The arm guard consists of five layered brocade with six fastening straps. The brocade was finally decorated with five different colors of thread, blue, green, red, yellow, and white, woven into patterns of clouds mountains, stars, grasses, beasts, and birds. A design that symbolizes paradise in Han Dynasty cosmology. Even more intriguing, on the upper and lower quadrants of the guard were eight characters, meaning five stars rising in the east favor the Middle Kingdom. The Middle Kingdom refers then, as now, to China. The five stars might refer to the planets, Venus, Jupiter, Mercury, Mars, and Saturn, which, on rare occasion, do all align to rise in the east. Five interwoven layers make up the piece. The introduction of colored threads builds the images and the characters. There are 220 warps and 48 wefts in each square centimeter of the brocade. The fineness of such a weave indicates the highest standards of craftsmanship in the 2nd and 3rd century. Four jacquard-type looms, unearthed from Lao Guanshan, Han Tu, at Chengdu, provide a clue as to this past craftsmanship. In 2018, China's National Silk Museum adopted the Han techniques to replicate the Five Stars Brocade. After many months of effort, the images on the ancient brocade were laid anew before the eyes of the public. Silk traveled far from China, just as woolen fabrics journeyed from the west. They meet halfway, like the east and west winds, in the vast expanses of Central Asia. Among the relics of the Silk Road in Xinjiang, the brocade is not the only well-preserved item. There are many strange and exotic scenes, foreign to Chinese eyes, a centaur, and a soldier on wool tapestry fabric, a fertile goddess on delicate cotton. All tell of the mixing of influences in those ancient desert kingdoms. The culture of our human world is woven from many different strands, east and west, south and north, the strange and the familiar. Lost and lonely, in the desert sands are the fragments of history to remind us. All make but one whole fabric under heaven's eye.
every culture has its own story. Over time, it is beliefs and tradition that hold a people together, giving meaning to their habits and way of life, making them unique, and the world a vastly more interesting place.